the ping and now we have 100. <laughs> well, hopefully the server settles itself down. Uh, we get Observer Ward blocking up the easy pull spot. Oh, it looks a... like PR is going to go for a full aggro try here. I'm sorry for interrupting, but you are actually right. It's a void mid, man. Yeah, now th this this is the new thing. This is the new, new thing. So they, they run faces void in off lane or mid lane. Like, the, the save lane void just seems to go out the window. It's where you basically get really aggressive. Like, you run like this extra three core lineup. Now, VS <laughs> is searching for an extra stun. EGM, the stun will go, which means the arrow can connect. And then with the guard just wall storm, but we'll catch you out in two. But EGM, it's only the Mirana's able to do some extra damage. VS, can you attack Mirana? That's not enough. The cell pops off, which means now Mirana overextends. Okay, enjoy the extra two intelligence. Keeps the damage going in. We just sick gush. EGM, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no EGM. Yep. Go down after diving in pretty damn deep there. And then VS Dunn returns into RK. He just threw out his entire mana pool. I think we just sick. No, no, he's not, he's not going back to base. He just pops the clarity. Yeah. Well, I was watching mid when this engage happened. Uh, uh, EGM shouldn't have uh, came back and died there. There was no need to die. Because this died. Killing it's but it's they got the first blood, so I guess it's fine. As long as he is also giving like regeneration to loader. Like if, if he was coming in with like stick charges or something like that, then maybe it would have been worth it. But then he probably would have survived as well. Yes, yeah. Uh, we just six looking for another initiation. They need one more of these creeps to go down. Either that or like because they're running J4 as the core here now. Like FNG is holding back. He doesn't yeah, have mana for a gush. It's a support bottom because if you see like the the Titan didn't bought anything. So, but they transition the bottom into like if the game goes past past 20 minutes, the bottom will start getting farmed and the Venge will be the one buying everything. He's in trouble. Four napalm stacks. He's tanking up the town here, however. But Admiral Bulldog, 65 life points. It's enough. Oh, oh. Six life points. He actually escapes on, but he gets a He's... solo kill on the ET now. ET is getting crushed, man. Look at the CS score as well. I don't think he should have. I don't think you get that trade. I mean, you you lose. No, no, but... no, 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 no. You do fine. You shouldn't die anyway. Like the stake in that bomb. You need to fight. We just six coming in for the BS stun. He's gonna look at EGM again. The guts already gone with the anchor smash. Just right click damage. The arrow connects into loader. It's a very short duration stun. This goes down again. This is why this Ven is like people say. I can agree. He's monopoly. He can spam his stun and like he can't help them accept the uh, armor thing. And if he needs to use the stun, he'll use it. <laughs> but on the other side, the, the bottom is keep throwing arrows, gushes, and then the tight gushes, and anchor smash. This is how PR plays. Every time, every game, they go aggro try, or they pick Fury in offlane. Or if they don't have Fury, they go aggro try, and they have this solid game plan. Well, they, had, they had both in game number one. They didn't get they didn't get both in the last game, though. Okay. Like they, they lost, they just prop because Alliance picked it up as second pick. And then they ban it, yeah. Now they ban it, I think. For now, too, like Admiral Bulldog, <laughs> I, I just wish Cheshire Cat the best of luck. As like the levels are starting to get higher and higher on this uh, on this Bat Rider, but he's running bottle. He's got a stick as well. It's difficult for Et to spam anything out against him. This is problematic because the Bat Rider will snowball if he keeps going like this. We just gonna be really careful about going up against S4. Relying on backtrack all the time is nice, but he just got hit by the torrent as well as the the type bringer, and didn't backtrack a single one of these. And with S4 already having a regeneration rune in its bottle, and he has three points in backtrack. <laughs> not... One point, you know, it's three it's, points. Uh, three points, and he's not backtracking. Kind of funny that though, like, because the builds I've been seeing for the mid phase of Void has been high backtracks. Uh, you look at uh, at higher points up in the time walk. As yeah, well so as we can harass exactly. Yep, and, yes. they, and they just hope the 10% chance kicks in. Like going up by an extra 5% each time doesn't really seem to be worth it. Backtrack that torrent, at least. It's well, the void has decent farm, but uh, I, like it doesn't matter. Even if he's ah, not farming, it, when he gets six, I think he should try to gang or on the top lane or because this hero is. You can even utility more than like uh, universe plays it in the beginning, offline. So, 
Yeah. What you you, you said like you want to get like mech over on the No 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 no. I mean you I mean you, I mean, I mean to be useful to the team because most of, some players they just farm farm, but some players they just get six TP immediately like even eternal in the he TPs immediately nice to a lane get a kill. Mm -hmm. And this VS really needs to get in range for a stun. Either that or J4 has to start guessing with the arrows. Like even if he's gonna come into this little area here and just start throwing it over the tree line. So they keep they keep trying to get Weeder sick in range, but the VS magic missile stun range is so minimal. It's so low. Nah. Like the chance and the chance of you actually catching a lion out of position with that is yeah, negligible. Yeah, they are putting a lot of pressure on the alliance with, with this aggro tray. So if, as we look, there are no stacks because the supports can't afford to leave the lane. Mm -hmm. Most of the games when you alliance plays Zven Wisp, they try to stack, and but when you go aggro, I, th I think that's okay though, because like Admiral Bulldog doesn't want to leave the bottom lane. I can imagine like if Zven had to leave the lane, what are you gonna leave RK behind to try and survive up against a tired Marana VS? It's it's not yeah, really gonna happen. Yeah, he has good farm. He has power trades, he rushed the power trades. But I meant the stacks for the Sven, you know? So all yeah, yeah. There's the storm bomb. EGN tethered himself in the arrow. This time will be evaded. But there's a lot of silence. That curse of silence going to work there from RK. They move over to We Just Sick. Loader trying to stick with him with the Anchor Smash. And now Gush into him. Loader's in a lot of trouble. The charges, the stick, it's not going to be enough. He turns for the fault. Maybe it will be enough. FNG goes down. RK moves into We Just Sick. And the torrent ships on the way in from S4. In case they were coming up, they lose this match. And J4, well, they can't bring it back yet. Oh! oh it that last attack was like just yeah. on the edge of like the Marana cat. It didn't connect though, so she'll survive. I was with the exchange, I think, actually, not really. Well, they, they lost to Sven, but it's still ended up being a two for one in favor of the Revenge and Tide died, yeah. Oh. Well. Which is okay. And the fact, like, yeah, maybe the only downside is the fact that Kunk had to rotate see, out. Yeah, Sven is rotating bottom. He wants to kill something. Oh, they can reach him. Like, with the Firefly, Lasso, Dragon back. He can hold the Storm Bolt off for a moment, now he can throw it out. Yeah, easy gold, now easy money. Yeah. <laughs> you are Russian. Radiant's oh, I just know some words. Not Romanian. Oh, no, no. See, I, like, I, I still, like, I, I'm very cautious about Romanians. It's like the first one I ever met was Radiant's come with me. Oh, the come with me factor. Yeah, uh, and like that that sticks in your mind for a while. And then I met trance. And I met trance. And I and I think I was thinking about like something like there was some kind of like Jimmy oh. Hart joke about oh. Oh. Yeah, load of trouble. E.T. Split's gonna drag him back. He's got support coming oh. in from the Kanka. He evades the arrow. Into the tree lines. What's he waiting for? He's into the trees trying to cut deeper. But he's gonna go down. Three heroes from uh, from Power Rangers just to make sure that lane stops where it is. You overstayed his welcome, don't man. Mm -hmm. A trance, like the first time I met him, like there was some Jimmy Carr joke about like gypsies, and all of a yeah. sudden there was just like hatred. <laughs> well, Romanians are different from gypsies. They are two different species. Yes, I know. That's, that's, that's where the hatred came, and I spent like a exactly. long time listening to the fact of why they are different. Yeah. We see Kunka skip the X. We just took a Seb. Like if RK oh. walks around this corner, he can eat. He, okay, he, he's not looking. He's... He can't see him. Yep, Stormbolt will come down to the side. That's a VS. Like he, okay, there's global science as well, so VS Cut can't this. do anything. There's oh. no Ravage available. The TP support's coming back in again, but they know where we just sick is running, but RK has no mana for this. But what they do have is S4. Mr. Haystroon runs in there. VS will throw the stun out, but it brought enough time for Loader to come in range for his stun. We actually now have a support silencer. Is that ET dying? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Kills over the tower. Admiral Bullock can just TP. Evades the arrow, and he can just TP out to safety. Um, yeah, but look at the silencer, man. We're nine minutes in, and this silence is already stolen. Uh, ten po ten points attack. of intelligence from the Look enemy. at his gold as well. Yeah. Is he looking for what, what? Blink dagger? Or is he thinking about just getting him? He can, he can buy the next for the team. I think he might go war earn, Radiance or... Top tower is under under attack. I, I saw EGM going... Oh, it's Aki. Um, I think he might go earn, man. I, I'm not sure I, I, I'm it. thinking mech, just because the earn will probably be picked up by the wisp. Mech is fine as well. So, I'll, I'll go with the mech if I was him. But he might also be considering something like arcane boots if he wants to get that greedy. But he's sitting there with 1800. He just, oh, spent, he oh, just spent money. It's a point booster. Yeah. It's a rush it's just, ags. Well, he has the money, though. Like, he's starting with 1.7k gold. It's worth it to get a point booster. Now, load up. Man, he was thinking about that. Man. Okay, now, now he will. <laughs> he was thinking about the storm bolt. 
And then wasn't 100% yeah. sure he really wanted to. Well... Situation is kind of problematic for PR. The Void is not farming that great. The, the ET is like he's a non-factor. He died three times. They need to do something. They need to use that Ravage. They, they have Ravage for like four minutes and they didn't use it. Well, Tide died and now, okay, they're going for a pot move. I'll go top. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna reach him too. EGM's still in the neighborhood though, but he has to have level 6 so he can't really get him out. They just focus EGM. With the spirit down, with the anchor smash and gush. EGM was never, never really gonna survive that one, but Loader, man. He just runs back a little bit further. But he's now got an overclock coming out to him, so he's got a lot of strength to fight. He just needs to help. Like, Admiral Bulldog's got a blink dagger available. So if he TPs Dyer's top, top, maybe you can do something, but attack. at the same time, do you really Dyer's want to TP underneath the part of the Ravage and ET split up? Yeah, you don't want to do that. Well, uh, maybe with Loader back to the front lines, he could, he should be able to. And S4 is also moving north too, so they're getting ready to fight PR. They want to the defend. Yeah. Yes, they want to defend. They're going as well. Yeah. Stormbolt though, gonna slow him down. Loader, he's, he's gonna lose his life. Magic one charge, and he comes to ship and oh. the Lauren. It's actually gonna connect the Ravage, however. Loader, he's on 66 life points. We just sick. He can't finish the job. Admiral Bulldog, there's your gush onto him. The global science made it very, very difficult for anyone to follow up, but they're gonna try and go for Cheshire Cat. The Titan Hunter should be able to get himself away to safety here. X Mark spots making sure he's going nowhere. And now Boyd jumped in for the Chrono. Looking at Admiral Bulldog. He gets the last two though. He's backtracking a little bit of damage. And now in comes EGM. Moon backtrack. Now he goes for the Chrono. Finally gets it off. Arrow into Bulldog. Only two seconds off last time for the Torrent from S4. Flying in the space. Breaks down Moon. The last attack from the Arrow from J4. Able to connect as well. And J4 leads himself away. S4, X Mark spot. Torrent's available as well. Waiting it out. The Torrent will connect into the Time Bringer. And Admiral Bulldog. Flame break just bouncing it back up. He knows how low he is, that's why he has to get some distance here. But head four, stick him with the movement, and they'll load up. He gets the storm ball out, and they actually get themselves the final heroes on the top. The bat rider did, however, die in the corner, which isn't really the greatest thing for for a lion. He blinked into the arrow, I think. Wait, what? Did he? Yeah, I think he wanted to blink Radiant's for the pierce and the bottom arrow attack. there. I don't know. I don't think. I don't know if bottom predicted I'm, I'm, that I'm blink. I'm watching it again on my side screen right now to see what happens to the bat rider, because okay. I don't know if my eyes just missed it. Where'd he go? Yeah, he, he blinked down. You're actually 100% right, he blinked down. It's like old school Holy Hexo movies, man. You arrow and then the hero blinks into the arrow. That's so cool. You gotta take it for the cause, man. Yes. Uh, S4 gets really lucky again. He's got no another regeneration rune. tower is under attack. Well, he's gonna have to come in and try and defend up this middle lane. Like, Moon's on his way here. Oh, they're pinging the, the jungle. They have some stacks there. S4 pinged it. I think they want to clear that those stacks with Sven or Bat. I think Batman really needs to go mid. Yeah, they're going for uh, Moon. He's trying to time the time walk out. Unfortunately for him, oh, there it is. He actually got it at the very last moment. That t that blade was swinging for him. He was uh, he was uh, keep cancelling the spell. Yep. You know. It is going to be Batman. Right? Actually, yeah, I was um, wondering like, is it better to get the farm onto S4? Because Batrider's already giving what he needs to at the very, very start. I guess the blink last though, he doesn't have a four staff, sure. But... He needs yeah, he needs the four staff because Batrider becomes much more stronger with the four staff as well. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking just... S4 needs more needs more money, uh, needs more farms I think it's to fine. get damage. I think it's fine, it's fine. Like he will get his Shadow Blade at some point, only from the kills and rotations. It's just if it's enough. Like I know Loader is going to bring a large portion of damage once he triggers his God Strength and gets like high levels in that as well. I'm just thinking how the hell do they get through this Tide Hunter as we get later into the game? I don't know. They want to oh, Moonlight Shadow. Settle. <laughs> the, the Radiant creek wave, creek wave is being dragged down. I don't know if this was the original plan of Alliance, but they it worked wonders. Need T. Well, there's no there's no army of trees behind them. Admiral Bulldog is here, Firefly, Moon jumps him. They're gonna go for Loader, and she managed to catch S4 in the middle of this. So Loader dies underneath his own tier 1 tower. The global salesman, there was no rabbit for and now just gonna come in, fly over the top of FNG. They'll crush into Moon as well, and S4, look for a swing. The pack tracking damage of Moon is really helping him out here. And we've already got Arcade coming back. He actually gets himself a nice little curse for Salo from three heroes. With the tie bringer swing off, Cheshire Cat's running away from Admiral Bulldog at the same time. So he's actually got this like little bit of a split off. We just stick dies on the side, Admiral Bulldog keeps going on Cheshire Cat. Four napalm, five napalm sacks, flame break bumping into Moon, the arrow actually being dodged up here, but Cheshire Cat's gonna go down. Arcade's right, hot near oh. tail, and there's your curse to start. That X Mark spot's gonna drag back 
the uh, Faceless Void, so there's no escape mechanism for him anymore. That's a double kill for S4. Bottom player. I thought that was going to go badly for Alliance once Loda got caught in the middle of that chrono, Radiant's but they split up Power top. Rangers during that fight. This will survive the entire Radiant thing. Yeah, he, he used all his spells. The Batshred was behind, spamming the Sticky Napalm. You, you can't fight against Sticky Napalm, man. It's hard. He couldn't hit two ulti, but the ulti didn't hit anyone. Radiant's so, top tower mm -hmm. is under attack. Like they, they have superior teamfight at the moment because. Radiant's top tower has that fallen. Is, the, the, the ravages he hits, they're not effective. Like they're not efficient. They don't get anything after he used the ravage. Okay, I can might be in problems. It's also kind of like oh yeah, VS can't reach you for a swap. It's only level one. He's only a level six vengeful spirit man. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's too full level behind that of EGM. Uh, who did actually end up getting the urn? He's so fat on the sun, so man, look at his items. And he has another eggs item like a locker team or staff of wizard. 600 yeah, gold, he's got the whole shebang. Yeah. And look at Loda, Mr. Ancient Farming. He stacked this himself, however. <laughs> Shows how much he wants to use gold strength during a team fight. <laughs> it's like, screw it. Is he actually going to go for, for like Mask of Madness here? Before I finishing think... the BKB? I don't. I think he will finish the BKB. He needs the BKB, I think. But at the same time, because if he BKBs and then he gets Chrono, like he won't die, right? Yeah. He didn't. Be, he's not. Doesn't, doesn't have a BKB. If he gets Chrono, like the situation is problematic. Then, but they have Sun. I think he will go. I, I saw him going BKB and then finishing the Mask of Man. Just a casual uh, morbid mask for the stacks. I think yeah. at the moment. Okay, I can go with that either way. We'll but. just have to see. He can buy it right now. He has 1k gold, right? No, he's yeah. not buying it. No, he's not buying it. He, he might also save for buyback too, because that's another thing. Yeah, that's true as well. We're only, we're only 16 minutes in. There's no reason for Alliance to take a risk. We have, at this point, the four highest net worth <laughs> positions. Silence is sitting Dyer's in the fourth position tower. above that. Silence <laughs> and, and the Faceless Void, and the ET, and the Mirada. <laughs> Sikes. Well, yeah, that's like an arrow S4. Instantly into Firefly, the ET split is looking to get a follow-up hit, but oh. there's a long way out here. Now the Global Silence will go too, so there's no They're lead going to relocate. into a Chrono. And you're right, relocate him, the Stormbot will fly. The Moon is protected right now. It's a Moonlight Shadow trying to help out Zephyr, so you got a good ult, but off, but unfortunately for him, Loader comes out fighting, and before the base drag back the face of Void. The Firefly though has also worn off, and Loader, he's not quite sure who to finish. Admiral Bulldog still being stunned up, being tight locked up, while FNG swaps back down again, out of range of the Silence, the Torrents on the way in, both we just think as well as FNG. FNG evades it. Loader, one swing is all he needs right now. That he'll use the Wisp Balls to get the kill anyway. Cheshire Cat sticks around Loader. Stormbolt's available, throws it out, and they come in for uh, Cheshire Cat. EGM slows him up with the Tether Slow. Moon's still here, he's got Chrono available, and two heroes to go on, and he got Silence, he's dead! What? The attack from Wisp went on him, he never threw the Chrono out! Oh, I don't know what, the, what what he wanted to do there. I don't know why he was waiting there. I think he wanted just to like get, get a leap slow to slow down the Wisp chase and not have to waste the Chrono. He hoped like Wisp would be low enough to get it. And either way, they lose a T1 town, they lose the Faceless Void. Just giving over, like, like okay, Shadow Blade for S4. Radiance bottom BKB money is, under is under almost there for us, uh, as well. He's 600 gold away. 18 minutes X support sensor, but he didn't buy anything. So he got the kills, he got two kills, he got. He has 45 CS, man. Yeah. But it, it really doesn't matter, like, if, if he's got anything else, because Sansa sits in the back lines and. Ulti goes off, it's like, hey, we won the fight. Radiant's bottom <laughs> so, tower yeah. is under attack. What's Tidehunter meant to do? This guy keeps throwing ravages, but yeah, yeah, exactly. it's, it's, not, it's not at the time when he wants to, because the silencer keeps exactly. throwing with him. Yeah, I agree. Like like I said, the, the ravages, they're not accomplishing anything. Hold on. He got Cheshire Cat. Unfortunately, for him, face the Void's here, but then Chrono will go. EGM, he's dead. Wait, what? Can Void not what? reach him? Torrent <laughs> and the ship. Boy loses his life for the price of a win. Now, this does strand Loader here, but look at him. He moves towards the wall, so Admiral Bulldog blinks up to get the vision so the chaos, the, the storm ball can fly out. Now, S4, again, we're going for the torrent with the X Master Double. spot onto two of them, and we just sick. Well, Batrider's coming back here to play part of this one. And <laughs> silence again. It's not the global, actually. The global is still available here for silence, but they don't even need it. Man, this game is over. That's another game. This is game number one was a 20 minute GG to PR. This game number three is now a 20 minute GG to Alliance. Alliance victory. Welcome to the change up, man. Alliance 
I really uh, thought like starting up game number one and, and uh, Matt said to himself, he's like, man, maybe Alliance were just asleep. Well, the dragon has been awoken, man. I don't know what to say, man. The you know best runner did, did, the best runner did so much work as well, and they played, they always got the right exa exa exchanges on the Trilin versus Trilin, and the Konka rotated really well.